that kicking like you are uh, uh, have somebody you got problem boom, like this coming and then you let in line straight away like boom, like this so you can able to make the kick coming in boom, like this straight away and you'll be in line so this this kind of goat stand try not try to do it cool keep it too tight in like this yeah and then when you do the movement you see keep show you this way when you do the movement you you no flexibility because you keep your leg too close in out a little bit so it's more relaxed so it's able to move okay so you're able to turn and twist that's the most important thing because the whole idea is when you start to punch you punch like this instead of punch with a small twist small turn you see my body turn S small turn like this if you're new here you haven't subscribed to me yet then make sure you're whacking the button right now to subscribe to me when I upload a new video you will get a notification right away so you can start learning and do some training with me here is the lesson so the waist will turn with the movement yeah so the movement will be turned slightly with the feet that's important okay when you're doing the movement and secondly when you're doing the punch try not to punch too much like this on the movement because what happened is into the combat side when you hit somebody you make the turn so difficult for them to hit you because you're turning hitting them instead of like this if you're straight like this hitting their punch come direct at your face they will land at the same time that's no good so you turn slightly so you're missing it okay so the movement that twist a little bit on the feet a little bit like this to make your feet more mobile because you need to move later on you need to move all the time you need to move so when you're moving you're making contact you work the same so the leg have to be able to uh, flexibility a little bit okay another thing as well uh, one you might have a little problem with is the hammer fist now hammer fist you've got to turn to create power you know you've got to turn so when you're doing a fine angle punch for instance uh length for instance you turn you see you turn your way to turn like this turn to making a hit so when you're attacking this side so you can see the angle you turn this side 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 so your body have to be able to move okay imagine somebody attacking you you make contact and then when you hit them you make contact but they can't hit you because you are to twist and because you're using a lot of your waist onto the turning you create a lot of power so the most important thing to understanding the the leg it don't be too in like this okay like this if you're too in like this difficult to move difficult to move so you got to make sure wider another one you might have a little bit problem with especially to the whole stand like when you do one your leg is too cramp in like this and the way you sit okay this is the problem back posture so to do the movement just remember to have one two three and then four leg wide leg in line so you're flat your hand in position like this so i show you this angle don't go like this okay bad posture straight back in line like this so your back is straight okay now on this bit here if you're not very strong don't need to go that low go that that will be fine okay on like this be fine and your hand is in line so don't lean like this when you do that back is straight okay as you're getting stronger you go lower lower a little bit like this this kind of movement here is very important to make sure in line to keep somebody in here you keep them later on you keep them in line okay you walk with them down here so then you can same thing as you knee down to do a lot of uh, if you see the self-defense stuff you see a lot of the stuff we get people down turn them and this kind of movement your body have to be in this position as you come back you come back with this position you're back in line like this okay hand like this okay basically hand like this basic movement straight up like this this is very important to make sure you're understanding the basic of that and the another thing you got to understand as well to improve the movement is relax a bit more don't tense too much when you're doing like especially when you're doing the kick when you come up and you, you go like this on the feet okay 
it's not very good. So when it come up, so you're gonna be able to ground well. So your leg will be in line, got leg will be in line. So you, it's straight. So come up. When you kick using this part, push like this, like this. So you can able to using the kick like this. Yeah. This leg come up. So you can kick like this. Kick. So you got be able to push movement like this. To make sure you're doing better, have your hand on the kick back. Like this. Have the hand kick. So you make sure you're, you're forcing the kick coming out. So in real life, you can use it. You see some got problem, bam, like that, move out of the way. Got problem, bam, like that. You can kick easily. Uh, another thing, a lot of time, when you're doing a round kick, try to turn more, turn, okay? Like this, turn more, turn like this. So, again, hip and waist. So you're kicking, you're kicking from here, like this, in, okay? So you're turning your whole body in to the kick. When you start to uh, practice, when you have your hand turn and back, turn and back. Especially when you start to move around and attacking somebody, boom, like that, you move. You attack, boom, you move. So the principle have to be turn like this, turn. When you come back, you come back here to be able to control the balance and protecting your goal. When you're watching food this and you like the stuff I do here and explain about the training onto the Wing Chun side to the student, then all you need to do is comment below this video and tell me what sort of thing you have problem with or you can go to our website, themasterwong.tv and then you can ask me any question and want me to make a video to explain a certain thing to you, then do that onto our website, masterwong.tv and I will be here to answer some of your questions and make a video just like this to helping you to learn more. Otherwise, keep watching, keep learning and keep practice. Okay, so this is why, boom, like this. Okay, then kick. Boom, like this. This is quite important when you start to work. So when you are uh, training to make you improve a lot better, do a lot of basic exercise like I'm talking to you about. So this exercise, hold stand, okay, on the, that movement. Bring the feet in, drop your feet down like this and up like this. That's basic exercise on the feet. To make it loose, like this. Stepping. Need to practice a lot to make sure you're freely to be moved, to be moved, to be moved, to make an attack. Because all well and good, you can do the movement, like this kind of movement, this kind of movement, or this kind of movement. It's a freely. It's nobody contact to you yet. Because this particular module is all about know yourself, about you able to control your weapon you got. So all this leg, hand, that work with you when you need them. Work with you when you need them. Okay, like this. Turn, hitting, this kind of movement. Before you understand that, then you can able to understand about control your enemy. If you can't control yourself and kick properly first with the power, then you can't not attack anyone. Because soon you're hitting something uh, like this, when you're hitting something, it's like you, you lost balance. You're not able to boom like that, boom like that, kicking like you are, uh, have somebody, you got a problem, boom like this coming. And then you leg in line straight away, like boom like this. So you can able to make the kick coming in, boom like this straight away, and you'll be in line. So this is very important to make sure that you can able to do them, okay? Another thing as well is try to practice a lot of basic exercise that we provide for you to get your body more uh, flexible. But not just for you, it's other students training on this, find this problem. Then you can able to look through this and you can see where the problem is. Another thing saying, you're 50 year old, but you look okay, look good, nice, and slim, not too overweight, and you look good for your age. So if you practice uh, this kind of training, then it helps you more into the self-defense. 
I highly recommend you doing some Tai Chi as well. It's be good because Tai Chi is designed for older age, like people like my age, your age, to getting a little bit more better when you're moving and then turning with the body. Like everything happen into the motion of the movement. Okay, very smooth, all very calm, and a lot of um, uh, meditation thing and a lot of qigong training, breathing and everything else that will help you to enhance the training a lot as well. So this is the message for you and the rest of the student got any problem with this kind of movement here watching through this. If you got anything else you want to know, let me know then I'm glad to help you. Spend some time to practice. I will see you on to the training lesson.